Welcome to a short introduction to the KC Mathematics. This course was developed to help you prepare for the mathematics portion of the California High School Exit Exam. Some of you may be asking yourself, why am I taking this class? There are several reasons a student would want to take this class. Number one, some of you are here because you really want to get your high school diploma. Many schools require students to take an exam called the KC, or the California High School Exit Exam. And upon passing the KC, along with all of their other coursework, that student will earn his or her high school diploma. Two, some of you might have taken the KC and failed the math section. Hey, it's a tough test. Don't feel bad. In 2006, 40% of 10th graders failed the math section the first time they took it. You are not alone. For those of you in this situation, this course will help clarify key math concepts for you that will hopefully lead you to a passing math score in the near future. Thirdly, some of you are here because you need an elective credit towards your diploma. Then you're in the right place while others of you may just want to review some key math concepts. We math teachers hear the same thing from our students every year. No one is born knowing how to write a symphony, fix plumbing, or play tennis. So when we hear things like, I'm not very good at math, I need help with my math homework, I don't even know where to start, I'm just not cut out for this, or no one in my family is good at math, we kind of think, you know, hey, most people acquire these skills if they put their work into learning them. Certainly not everyone can write a concerto like Mozart, but everyone could learn to play a note or two. The same is true of math. Everyone has the potential to learn concepts and problem-solving skills. Here's my favorite example of that. If you don't know who this is, I'll tell you. This is Albert Einstein. Many people consider him to be the smartest man who has ever lived. You know what else? He routinely failed math tests. The thing that is noteworthy about Einstein is he never gave up. He studied math and physics for years and as a result developed many scientific and mathematical theories that we still learn today. For example, his theory on relativity. You've probably heard of that. That's E equals MC squared. But we're not going to get into that here. I know what you're thinking. Is math important? Yes, absolutely. Math is important for a variety of other life learning skills. Uh, problem solving. You know, when you learn to solve problems, there are at least five solutions to every problem. Of course, in a math problem, there's usually one that works best. Uh, two, math forces you to think logically. It helps prevent people from cheating you out of things. It helps you balance your checkbook and, and correct change and all that good stuff. It also will help you successfully complete the California High School exit exam and pass that test. I want to start off this slide with a joke my goddaughter told me. She's about five years old. She asked me once, Tita, Tita, how do you eat an elephant? Of course, I didn't know the thought, of, <laughs> and the thought of eating an elephant is somewhat disgusting, but she answered me just the same. Her response was, one bite at a time, and she giggled incessantly. I thought, what a brilliant metaphor for this class. Our elephant is the Casey, the California High School Exit Exam, and in order to de devour it, we need to take in these mathematical concepts one bite at a time. Key things you can do in order to be successful are change your perceptions on math. Math is not bad. It is something you can do. You just need to practice. Change your attitude. Be positive. This is an okay thing. You know, the other thing, too, is math comes with practice, practice, practice. Practice your math. Do those assignments. Get those things in. Review your textbook. Review those key concepts that are in your lectures and, and whatnot, and definitely study for the test. A couple other things to keep in mind. It is better to make your mistakes at school than make them out in the real world. So if you're going to make a mistake, this is where you do it. Don't be afraid. Keep in contact with your teacher. If you're having some trouble, let that person know as soon as possible so they can intervene. To keep a positive attitude, you can do this. Some final thoughts? No matter what reason you have for taking this course, 
My hope is that you will be successful. In some ways, this course is like the elephant my goddaughter's joke. It's big, it's powerful, somewhat intimidating, but like my goddaughter's joke, it's also lunch. So I hope you're hungry and you're ready to take your first bite. Good luck with this class and start Unit 1.